Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, brothers and sisters. Just waiting for people to appear. Assalamu alaikum to our brothers and sisters. Okay, we've got 11 people, 17 people. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is John Fontaine. Welcome to Ilm Feed. Just here at Masjid Noor on uh, Juma. We finished Juma. We actually prayed uh, Juma in in the park because there were so many people. So as you can see, the Masjid is behind me. We're gonna take a walk into the masjid right now. There's no one here, subhanAllah. The police are outside. There's literally one brother here, subhanAllah. So as you can see, this is the entrance. Just looking at the entrance, it just reminds you, if anyone actually seen the video, I don't recommend people watch it, but um, you know, every time you walk down this entrance, uh, just reminds you of the tragedy so we're going into a masjid, as you can see there's many non-Muslims outside, just showing their respects. We'll invite them in shortly, I think. So this is the masjid. There's no one here right now. As you can see the carpet, it's all been refurbished, alhamdulillah. Two weeks since the, since what happened, we, you know, it's already been refurbished the the underlay is put down and uh, we shall walk into the masjid so this is masjid noor This is the member, the Imam. The Imam was actually given the khutbah. Um, it, uh, we actually got the wrong information in England. We were told that it was before the khutbah. It was actually the khutbah had began. Jummah had began. The khutbah had begun. The Imam was on the member at the time. And subhanAllah, the terrorist came walking through there and people began to fall. And the Imam, Alhamdulillah, through the permission and mercy of Allah, he managed to crouch down and he hid in the minbah. And he's still alive, Alhamdulillah. He's still alive. He gave the khutbah last week in the park. So he was actually hid, hid behind the wooden thing. So as you see now, this whole area, alhamdulillah, has been refurbished. I was speaking to some of the victims yesterday. I met an English brother called Nathan. He did an interview for BBC TV. He's in a very bad state. And uh, brothers and sisters, I'm asking that you donate to the link on my Facebook page, uh, www.gofundme.com slash New Zealand, where we're actually sponsoring Dawa material. So many non-Muslims have been coming to the masjid, learning about Islam, and we need booklets to give them. So please, we're halfway um, through the fundraiser. We need to finish it off, inshallah, and we'll have 100,000 dawah booklets with the basics of Islam teaching people. So I was actually speaking to Brother Nathan yesterday. He was in a very, very bad way. Very, very terrifying experience he's had. He was telling me that the, the killer came in and he, he went outside, came back and he was actually, actually reshooting people. Um, and I heard that in his manifesto, the most hated, the hate, most hated people to him was the new Muslims, the white new Muslims. He's seen as as traitors. And Nathan actually told me that he's seen He's seen uh, the terrorist two weeks prior to the incident in the mosque and he was looking at him. 
And he felt him looking at him and he looked at him. You know, you know what it's like, a white guy in a mosque, when you see another white guy, you always look, you know, because you, you're interested, oh, another new Muslim or something. And he looked at him and he felt, he felt him looking at him in a bad way. And subhanAllah, it's frightening. So this man had always, you know, he'd been traveling around the different mosques, you know, wondering, uh, you know, it's frightening. Assalamu alaikum, Akim. This is a brother, mashallah, one of the, one of the revert brothers of the community. Very good brother, mashallah. He's been giving, showing the people around the masjid over the past week or so, subhanAllah. So please make dua and make dua for all the Muslims around the world, subhanAllah. I've just heard that t today in Somalia uh, there, was, there was an explosion. Um, there was 160 Muslims, the, uh, the fuller Muslims, the Fulanis in, uh, in Mali. There were thousands of people in Syria in the past two weeks, subhanAllah, all over the world. But alhamdulillah, as Muslims, we, we get on with life because we know that there's something better um, for the people. So I just wanted to show you the masjid. I wanted to uh, give you a tour around the masjid. There's no one here at the moment, just a couple of brothers. Salam alaikum, how you doing, bro? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Good to see you again. Yeah. Subhanallah. The the Imam gave a very nice khutbah today in the park. I advise everyone to go and watch it on YouTube. It was an amazing khutbah. Subhanallah. Thousands of people, even non-Muslims, were were at the at the uh, the prayer. So I'll just take you outside the masjid and show you. There's so many flowers. The non-Muslims, you know. They uh, grieve by giving flowers, so they've all come and show their respect because they feel a part of this. You know, as New Zealanders, their response has been uh, amazing. This is our very good, uh, our very good policeman. How are you doing? How are you? Yeah, good day, mate. <laughs> He's doing a, a good job. A very good job. So here, as you can see. All the flowers uh, lined up. We got Brother Umar there uh, speaking to uh, one of the Maori people. Uh, almost done a fantastic job. He really has. Subhanallah. I found him in Hamilton. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, okay. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, okay. You from Christchurch? I'm from Indonesia. How are you? Yes, one coming to you. You just came? Yeah. To visit? Today. Yeah. Are you Muslim? Yeah. You're Muslim, right? Yeah. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. I've come to show your support. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. You okay, brother? It's okay. Subhanallah. You're right. Yeah. Not bad. It's okay, brother. It's okay. You alright? Yeah. It's alright. This was not my friend. How are you doing? You okay? You come from Indonesia? Yeah. Okay, teacher for the uh, Quran. Inshallah. Yeah. Thank you. Brother, it's okay, alhamdulillah. Yeah, okay. Everyone's in a better place than Muslim, yeah. alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah. SubhanAllah, this brother, he came all the way from Indonesia. He's, in, he's crying, SubhanAllah. Well, alhamdulillah, they're all in a better place. So, this is all the uh, flowers. The non-Muslims non have actually come and planted these flowers all the way up the street. You have the news crew over there. People uh, feel guilty, you know, because they know deep down that that they've allowed Islamophobia, they've allowed the rhetoric in the media for so long, and they know that because they didn't stand up for it, they've got they, they, you know people are responsible for this. So um, hopefully there will be change after this, but realistically, you know, we have to see. Subhanallah, it's uh, this is brother 
on the on the it's been a Muslim for two years. He's actually giving dawah uh, to the Maori people. He's a Maori. The Maori are the indigenous people of New Zealand, and uh, they're very receptive to Islam. They they have a very nice culture, and uh, they're very interested. This is actually the Imam, one of the brothers. Assalamualaikum Sheikh, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah. This is uh, Sheikh Muhammad Jaba. Muhammad Jaba. Sheikh, I was just telling them about what happened. Subhanallah, with your uh, you patted him on the back. Yeah, yeah. The first day, the man on 15 of the uh, March, the first one, the gunman came in the Nordus gate, other gate. Yeah. Come in. Mm -hmm. uh, you um, seen him, didn't you? Yeah, I've seen. Yeah. And then he looking for me. Like this one, and he passed. Yeah. And he not killing, not starting. Yeah. After three step, he started shooting. shooting. See, we we actually seen the video when he came from around the corner. I will, I will show you. Come he here. was there. I, I, I know. I, I know. I, I seen you. Yeah. Sheikh was actually saw him come into the yeah, entrance. Yeah. yeah. And when the Afghan brother said hello, brother, he you patted yeah, him yeah. on the shoulder. Yeah. But he didn't. He didn't shoot. He, he didn't know because the reason this belief in my car. Yeah. Yellow small car. Yeah. Our, our back, because back in here, the this last back in here. Many cars. Yeah. And me are back in the, this side. I'm yeah. this side. Okay. And I'll hear my car. Yeah. I'm off. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. And, and the man come on this side. Yeah. So the, the yeah, man yeah, the yeah. man came from the here. The man come on this side. Yeah. And he looked me here. Yeah. And the gun is here ready like that. One. Yeah. He, he looked me and then he passed. He tried to go this way and his camera in here. Not yeah, behind the no camera. No. Then I will behind the camera. I say, where are you going? He patted him on the back. Yeah. And I will take here. I say, where are you going? And then he go starting here. Here. Yeah. Start the shot here. Here he started. He started shooting and from he's here. Still going. Shooting here. Yeah. yeah. And then, Subhanallah, the uncle, mashallah, may Allah reward him. He seen him with the gun, and he patted him on the back and said, what What are you doing? Subhanallah, the uncle, the man actually hit him and he fell on the floor and he's hurt his leg. May Allah cure him, look at him, he's on a crutch. May Allah cure him. I mean, make dua for the Muslims around the world. Muslims are suffering. And then may Allah make it easy. Subhanallah, so we're just about to pray uh, Asr, inshallah. And uh, see you soon. Okay, I'm going to go for Asa. Speak to you soon. Assalamu alaikum.